Uh, I know you had a chance to visit with George Payton, Vic Fangio. What do you think of this Broncos team? Look, I think George Payton has the right attitude. And look, I'm going to put these words in his mouth, but uh, I think this is really the way he feels. That when he had a chance on draft day, I mean, to me, he made he made a statement on draft day. And his statement was, hey, look, if I loved one of these quarterbacks and was convinced they were going to be the franchise quarterback, absolutely convinced, we would have picked him. And again, I, I, I mean, that isn't what he told me, but that's the sense that I get. But we have a guy at a crucial position in modern football, a top three or four most important position at corner. And if you have the ability to get one of those guys, and look, you're a general manager today. You can't just think about who's the best player right now. You have to think about, in my opinion, I think you got to think about an eight-year player. you got to think about the second contract. If you were drafting a guy ninth overall and you don't think he's going to get a second contract, that's a dumb draft choice. You know, you have to be borderline convinced that this guy is going to be a, a cornerstone franchise player for you long term. And that's what I think they're, they are convinced with that in Pat Sertan. The Broncos have been reportedly linked to so many quarterbacks through this offseason. Is there, from a national perspective, a sense of if this team can get some good quarterback play, maybe they'd be pretty good? Well, look, they've got a very good roster. Pro Football Focus said they got the 10th best roster in football. So, look, and I kind of disagree with uh, Pro Football Focus in this regard. I don't think you can have the 10th best roster in football when your quarterback is totally uncertain. And you might have the 29th best quarterback in football or 31st or whatever. And look, I like Drew Locke. I think he definitely should have a chance. I like Teddy Bridgewater too. I think things went south for him early on in Carolina. And let's see if he can get that going again. But obviously there's no sure thing with either of those guys. That's why every quarterback is linked to Denver. That's why when I wrote my column, I said, if I had to guess right now, Aaron Rodgers plays in Denver in 2022. But that's all it is. It's a guess. He might play in Green Bay. He might play somewhere else. Who knows? But I think the one thing about this team right now is that, you know, look, a lot of teams, if you don't have a great quarterback, all is lost because you you know you're going to have to score a bunch of points in this league to win. But with this defense, potentially, um, you can win games 21 to 17. And, you know, I think that's what this team's going to need to do. I haven't been in the playoffs for five years now. Uh, I know that the AFC West is very competitive. The AFC overall, very competitive. Do you think, you know, late in December, this team could be in the mix? It, I think it just all depends on Bridgewater slash Locke or Locke slash Bridgewater. They'll be good enough at the other positions. They need quarterbacks to uh, play efficient, and make some winning plays. And right now we need to see that. If that happens, there's no question in my mind they can and they probably will make the playoffs. And the last question, every training camp, I know you're making your rounds. Uh, a beer stop, a coffee stop uh, locally here in Denver? I'm going to the Rockies game. And every time I go to the Rockies game, I like to just walk around and weigh my options in beardom, you know, and, uh, so I, I, I will do that. And look, in the past, I've, I'm a big Avery fan. I like the Avery White Rascal. I mean, there's so many beers. This is like beer nirvana. It's, it's just, it's awesome. But you know, the interesting thing about the United States right now, I mean, if you go to Spartanburg, South Carolina, that's got a great beer scene. You say how, but how can that happen? But almost every place you go right now, has got a good beer scene. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to something new tonight at, uh, at Coors. Peter, uh, great catching up with you in person. Thanks, Phil. Really appreciate it.